Alright, so in this video today, I'm going to be going over three different types of sniping, just overall sniping techniques and tips. Um, I usually don't really make these, but a lot of people have been requesting it, so I decided to finally make a proper um, and full sniping guide slash review. So I'm going to be going over the three main types of snipes, which is the twitch shot, um, the drag scope, and then just your you know run of the mill average kind of lining up the shot. Um, very slowly and precisely and then after that I'm going to talk very quickly about sniping angles and uh, the different positions that you guys are going to want to put yourselves in. Alright so the first type of snipe is called a twitch shot. Uh, basically what it is is a quick little flick um, of your joystick, a quick adjustment where you're not lined up on their head correctly. Maybe you didn't uh, take the time to line up the shot and uh, you flick you know, left, right, up, down, etc. Uh, to line up your shot. It's not a full blown drag scope um, where you're going from the complete left to right side of the screen or right to left side of the screen. Um, it's just a quick little adjustment uh, when you didn't you know, maybe have the time to line up your shot correctly. It's that quick little flick of the wrist and uh, a lot of times it works out really well. I play on a 3 sensitivity so it's a little bit easier for me. I know it can be kind of hard if you play on you know, like a 4 or 5 or 6 but overall um, you're not exactly always going to have the opportunity to line up your shots. Um, so I find this to be you know, the most common and probably the most effective type of snipe. Moving on to the second type of snipe, we have a drag scope. Um, I couldn't really find a great representation of this because you know the whole entire motion kind of takes up more space than the screen um, allows me to show and uh, represent. But essentially, it's starting at point A, dragging all the way to point C, and then when you're at the middle point or B or just anywhere um, within that motion of A to C, you shoot. You know, in this situation, luckily I was able to get the shot off and get the kill. It doesn't always work out this way. Um, I found it's a lot more of a desperation shot than anything. So, you know, if you do play on a higher sensitivity, I found this to be a little bit more common. I'm watching really good snipers that play on something like a 6 to an 8 um, or sometimes even a 10. Um, but, you know, overall, if you play on a lower sensitivity, it's kind of like, you know, if someone just blinks at you with a shotgun and you have nothing out, you can't switch to your primary and uh, you just quick scope and try to hit someone along the way. Um, so that's the second type of snipe, which is a drag scope. Moving on to the third and final type of snipe, essentially what it is is a pre-scope or hard scope, whatever you want to call it. You start at point B on your scope, so right in the middle, and uh, it's more of when you know when you know someone's going to be around a corner and they're going to challenge with a sniper. Um, it kind of gives you more of the edge um, if you know that they're challenging. So you kind of just strafe around the corner at head level, and at that point, most of the time, you know the aim assist is going to do the work for you as long as you have it lined up at head level. Um, so this is pretty good for sniper battles, especially if you know they're going to pop around a corner. And uh, overall, I don't really find myself using this that much, uh, but in situations like I just showed, um, it's definitely the most effective type of snipe. So before I end of this video, I wanted to talk very quickly about a few things that I find very common uh, with people who are really good snipers, but they just really don't know how to play with one that well, um, especially when you're playing against good players. Um, so a while back, this was like six months ago when 6v6 Sweaties just started up. Um, they're really fresh. Me and another guy were one of the uh, you know main two snipers that sniped within Sweaties, especially in control. Um, you know, it's especially rare. And uh, he outsniped me a lot. I think it was kind of even. It was more of a 50-50 thing, but he was a really, really good sniper. Um, and he did really, really well in most of the games. But eventually, uh, what he got is what I call sniper syndrome. Um, it might sound a little bad, um, but that's just what I call it. Um, essentially what it is, is you try to use your sniper in every situation. Um, let's just say, you know, you run out and you have a last word in a sniper. Um, it's kind of like if someone slides at you with a shotgun and you try to snipe them instead of just, you know, triple tap hip fire them. Um, you're using your sniper in situations that just aren't really smart to be using them in. Um, you're better off with a primary. I try to do this a lot. I kind of started doing this in this series a little bit. Um, where I wasn't using my primary enough, but if you know that you have a good primary shot, um, there's absolutely no reason to try to challenge and, you know, montage clip someone with a snipe. Um, it's a lot better and more effective. Just go with your primary, snipe when you need to snipe, and use these different methods that I've mentioned thus far in the video. Uh, make sure you position yourself in a situation where there's a long um, line of sight. You don't want to get caught up in an area where you can't, you know, see your radar because you're scoped in and uh, you get killed from the side or whatever, you know. Just try to scope in and out as much as possible. Make sure you're paying attention to your radar. Put yourself in situations where you can seed with a sniper or succeed with a sniper. And uh, just make sure you play smart with it and know when to use your sniper at certain times. So that's basically going to wrap it up for the video today. If you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like down below. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you know anything I can improve upon. Um, I don't really make these tip videos that often, but when I do, um, I try my best to make them as understandable and good as possible. Um, but if you, you know, kind of found anything wrong with it, feel free to let me know. And uh, subscribe so you do not miss any type of video in the future. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.